Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to go over an example on a reducing elbow using the conservation of momentum. So here's our example. Water flows through a reducing elbow at 15 kilograms per second. The inlet diameter is 10 centimeters and 2 centimeters for the outlet diameter. Might help to take a look at the diagram there. So inlet diameter was 10 centimeters, outlet diameter was 2. Uh, assumptions include negligible fluid and elbow weight, uh, steady flow and frictionless system. Uh, so we're asked to find the gauge pressure at the inlet and in part to the anchoring force needed to hold the elbow in place. So in, immediately from this question we know that we need to use two equations we've seen before. The first part um, asks us to find the pressure which we know we can get from the Bernoulli's equation. Uh, for the second part anchoring force is involved. Um, so we know that we can get those from the linear momentum conservation equation. Pretty much any question involving forces imparted, imparted by dynamic fluids will have something to do with conservation of linear momentum. So watch out for that. So let's carry out the Bernoulli equation. Let's establish a streamline and datum. My two points are going to be at the inlet here and at the outlet. And for my datum, I'm going to define it. Uh, here at the center line. So my Bernoulli equation is applied along streamline 1 to 2. Let's find out our pressures, velocities, and uh, heights we, for those two points for pressure at the inlet that's uh, exposed to the atmosphere. So, oh, sorry, that isn't exposed to the atmosphere. So we don't know that one. That's going to be P1. Uh, pressure 2 will be equal to 0 because that is exposed to the atmosphere. Uh, velocity 1 is Q divided by A1. We were given uh, the flow which was 15 kilograms per second, so we're going to have to convert that into meters cubed per second. We know the density of water, so we can get the velocity there. For V2 we can do the same because total inflow equals total outflow and for Z we have Z equals 0 because we defined our center line at the center at uh, the datum at the center line and for uh, point 0.2 it would be point 0.2 meters above the center line so that's Z1 equals 0 Z2 equals 0.2 meters. So let's solve for our two Vs. We need to find A1 and A2. A1, we said the diameter was 10.